people think that the genetic testing is going to give them the answer that solves the problem. And I think that's an erroneous way of thinking about it. You can definitely have more information and yet the science is still not ahead of, um, I mean, genetics is relatively new. The whole genome sequence project, we're only 20 years or so out from that. We are not very far along. And so you can get tested and everybody is able to go grab a test kit and then run it through some automated program that somebody has tried to pair nutrients to genes with. And I've done a lot of those. And most of the pairings just don't work because we're trying to look at it in a really binary way. Well, if you have this gene, you need this nutrient. Well, if you have this gene, you need that nutrient. And it is not that binary. We have massive pathways with genes that are doing, each of them doing such different things that you and I can have the exact same gene mutation and we can both respond absolutely opposite to a nutrient that somebody thinks we should be taking for that gene mutation. And the biggest challenge that I've found in this field is I don't think there's very many people that know because there's not money to be had in the study of nutrients and vitamins and diet or how nutrients affect our health. You don't have lots of people diving into this field to learn more. There are a few people here and there, but the amount that they know, I mean, a lot of times people focus on a very small area where they know a few things here and there, but the, the number of people that have a breadth is really like, I just haven't been, and that's why we don't recommend any particular test. I don't really have one to send people to.